So once something goes into your recycling bin, have you ever wondered where it ends up? It's a simple question with a complicated answer. Our exclusive King 5 News poll shows most people are trying to make a difference. 83% of respondents chose almost all or most when asked how often they recycle. Only 4% said almost none. But guess what? Even though you think you're recycling, you might be making some pretty big mistakes. King 5 environmental reporter Michael Crow shows us the ride that your recycling takes. A good chunk of recyclables in King County make their way here to Recology's Soto Material Recovery Facility. So over here is the tipping floor. This is where trucks come in and eject their load. Obviously you can see all of the recyclable material is mixed up together at this point. And that's where the sorting begins. Materials whiz by on a conveyor belt as an army of workers pick out everything that is not recyclable. There is a lot going on in here. Yes, we have about 40 people in addition to all of the various systems that are focused on primarily removing contamination. And they find all sorts of stuff. Dirty diapers, messy food containers, mountains of flimsy plastic, and that is not the worst of it. So we just found a hypodermic needle on the line, and any time that happens, we shut down the entire sort line and remove it. After a series of sorting machines and compactors, it ends up here. So this is the finished product, a sorted bale of recycled paper. But this is where the issue of contamination really comes into play. Recology says about 10% of the material that comes through its doors was never going to be able to be recycled in the first place. The stuff that is recyclable, like the bales of paper, the bales of plastic, where does that go when it leaves the door here? So it goes to a variety of different end markets and destinations. Recology prioritizes domestic end markets. In Seattle, that means glass and metal are recycled locally. Plastics, aluminum, and some cardboard and paper are handled in the Northwest and North America, while the rest goes to Asia. In Pierce and Snohomish counties, spokespersons said they largely don't track where it ends up. But the whole process was complicated a couple of years ago when China stopped accepting a lot of our recyclables. Now, Seattle forbids its contracted processor from bringing recyclables to the landfill, but plenty still make it here. King County says studies done here at the Cedar Hills Regional Landfill show that 70% of the stuff we throw away could actually be diverted to other uses. It is a big problem because uh, these materials could be providing a beneficial use in so many other ways. They, they belong in the economy, not in the pit. So they want to streamline the process and keep more material out of the landfill. And I'm just looking over your shoulder and I'm seeing plastic, right? Does, do you look at that and think, man, we got to do better? We can do a lot better. And it starts with decisions that we make as consumers. Do I even need to buy this next thing? He says the good news is locally, they've been able to compensate for the changes in China and find new markets. But that's not to say that some folks aren't feeling it. The changes in China, did that impact you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Within about a nine month period, the, the prices for mainly mixed paper um, decreased by about 80%. And that's important because the revenue generated from the sale of recyclable materials helps pay for recycling programs. It helps pay for the trucks and facilities like this. So times are tough to be a recycler, but worth it per Quinn. When we recycle, instead of sending materials to the landfill, they're turned into new products. This allows us to reduce the need to extract virgin materials and also transport those virgin materials. So there's multiple environmental and economic benefits to continuing to recycle. Michael Crow, King 5 News. Well, we have an easy way for you to get more information on this story. Simply text the word recycle to 206-448-4545 and we will send you a link so you can see individual recycling regulations in Pierce, Snohomish and King Counties.